that new African is ready to fight his own battle and show that after all, the black man is capable of managing the whole of us. And my last warning to you is that you all should stand firm behind us so that we can prove to the world that when the African is given a chance, he can show to the world that he's somebody. We are both waiting. We shall no more go back to sleep anymore. We are going to demonstrate to the world, to the other nations, young as we are, that we are prepared to lay our own foundation. As I said in the assembly just a minute ago, I made it point that we are going to see that we create our own African personality and identity. It is the only way in which we can show the world that we are ready for our own battle. That today, may I call upon you all that at this great day, let us all remember that nothing in the world can be done unless it has the positive support of God. We have done the battle. And we again rededicate ourselves not only in the struggle to emancipate other territories in Africa. Our independence is meaningless unless it is linked up with the total liberation of the African continent. And here I will ask the man to play the Ghana national. itself is on the side of freedom uh, and justice. The British were proud of the peaceful nature of the transfer. For Dr. Nkrumah, main architect of Ghana's independence, this is a day of fulfillment. The longing to be free, the need to be free, these are part of the rightful heritage of man, a heritage denied to colonial Africa until now. The Gold Coast was renamed Ghana, with a parliamentary system modelled on Westminster. Committing themselves to civil rights, the new government put up a huge commemorative arch. Here, but a handful of years ago, men laid down their lives for a cause that was not yet won, for freedom, for justice. Komla Bedema had been with Nkrumah from the start. Now he shared the glory. And in the uh, subdued light, we mounted the platform and we were all ready when the lights all went on at five minutes to 12. 
with me standing on the right hand of side of Nkoma, everybody was happy. The cheering probably is still resounding, but we don't hear it. The night was called Freedom High Life, written by E.T. Mensa, the king of African high life music. Ghana, land of freedom, toils of the brave and the sweat of the labor, toils of the brave which have brought results, toils of the brave. And the sweat of the labor, toils of the brave, which are brought in the results. It's very great that day at the Independence Square. We are dancing, singing. They love the music. The song. The song really symbolizes the saying of Kamakuma, at long last, the battle is ended. Because we have food, we have our food. Already being hailed as the father of African nationalism, Nkrumah gave funds to other nationalist movements and preached the message across the continent. This mid 20th century is Africa's. This decade is the decade of African independence. Forward then to independence, to independence now. Tomorrow, the United States of Africa. The lead aircraft is commanded by Flight Lieutenant Courage Daiwo Fianco and Agbenyanu and Lance Corporal Units Sewa Adasi for Ghana Police. Leading the mass band are the drum majors holding the maze. The maze is a symbol of authority on parade and it is used by the senior drum major to lead and direct the band.
commanded by ASP Mary Esi Kumsen with ASP Joyce Ajoa Kwabina Sari and ASP Doris Hammond as her supernumeraries. The senior NCO supernumerary is Corporal Joanna Agadia Aikriam. Next, we have Ghana Police Service Mail Contingent 2, commanded by ASP Alori Gabriel, with ASP Manuel Baba Asabila and ASP Kodo Kofi Roberts, 